Hello, my name is Alex Lowe, and I'm going to show you how to place your PS3 onto a DMZ on your network. There are two things we have to do. Number one, we have to find out what the DNS IP addresses are. And number two, we have to set a static IP address for the PS3. Start off by opening up the command prompt. Once here, type ipconfig slash all. We're looking for the DNS server IP addresses right over here. Copy these guys down. Once we have these, we have to set up the PS3. Start your PS3 and go here to the network settings. Then click on Internet Connection Settings. Select OK. Then choose Custom. On the next screen, enter your network configuration. It may vary depending on who you are. Then click Manual for IP Address Settings. Next, choose an IP address for your PS3. The first three set of numbers is typically 192.168.1, and the last set can be a number between 2 and 255. It's typically better to use a larger number just to make sure that you don't conflict with any other devices on your network. For my example, I am using 65. On the default router, it should be 192.168.1.1, and the primary and secondary DNS server numbers would be what we found in the command. Click Automatic for MTU. And then do not use proxy service. Enable UPnV. Then press X to save your settings. Now your PS3 should be using a static IP. Okay, now that your PS3 is using a static IP, we have to configure up the router. Open up your web browser. Access your router by typing in 192.168.1.1. This may vary depending on the manufacturer of the router. Now enter your login information. Once inside, click on Applications and Gaming. And then click on DMZ. Enable it, and then put in the IP address we chose earlier. This must match the IP address of your PS3. Then click Save Settings. Congratulations, now your PS3 should be successfully in a DMZ. Be sure to run another internet connection test on your PS3 to make sure it's all working right.